That, that was almost a good Italian accent. Potroso. Every once in a while. I do love Italian food. I don't know if that qualifies me to have a They did eat a lot of pasta They did. That's Hey, you know what? Bonus reason number 2.5. Welcome back to I2I, the place where we talk about anything and everything Disney. My name is Kyle. And my name is Jessica. And before we get started, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, turning on that notification bell, and liking this video if you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this type of content, we ask that you support it by joining the Powerline, which is our channel membership program. You can follow the links in the description for that, but also up above in the video right now. This is another movie review, a spoiler free, so it's safe to be here, movie review of... Luca! Which you were very, very excited excited for. Well, that's a spoiler. Well, I, I no, no. how about this? You were excited for it pre watching okay. it. I was kind of like uh, sitting on the fence of like, I, I think it'll be good because it's Pixar, but I'm not like overly ecstatic about it. You know why I was excited? Why were you ecstatic about it? Because it was by the makers of Onward and no shock there. But everything's the by the makers of the same. No, 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 no. You know, no. It's not. No. It's not even the same like group that made Onward. But it said in the trailer from the makers of Onward. Can, can I? Can I ruin this for you? Nope. Every, just let me have it. <laughs> everybody knows what I'm talking about. There, what I'm trying no, to reveal. Let me have it. <laughs> sure. From the makers of Onward. <laughs> yes. They you know bring I you love Luca. Onward. So. Yes, it's good. Now I will admit that as we get into this, and you'll hear us kind of echo this. Some onward type vibes with this. I would yeah. say, you know, probably some good things there. So what we do in all of these spoiler free reviews is we obviously talk just very briefly about kind of the plot and some points that we want to uh, maybe share with you to encourage you to go see if you haven't. So we'll talk about three reasons to watch. One that you may not like it and then we'll watch it or not watch it. Rewatchability. Rewatchability rating at the end. Kyle of made up that word. What's a, it's a fun word? Rewatchability. It is. I'm not mad at it's it. It's not that hard to say. It's not like Silenzio Bruno, like that. That's probably my worst Italian accent. But you ever. did the hand thing. And they even did this in the movie, too. In the too. movie. That was so funny. All right. First reason to watch. The story of friendship. So I was really excited that this was a story, like, it wasn't sisters. It wasn't brothers. You know, we had sisters in Frozen, brothers yeah. in Onward. You know, it, there's no love story. It's true friendship. Like, just... Mm -hmm. best friends or people that learn to be best friends and just friendship. I loved it. So Pixar, what they do great is they take relationships and they try to kind of, you know, expound upon those. So like with Onward, they did father and sons, but also and brothers and, and mothers as well, a little bit, but they obviously the core of it was the relationship these two boys had with their father, but how their relationship was affected with it. I was going to say Onward, I'm going to go with the main relationship is brotherhood. True, that's, that's a fair point, but I think the father is central to it as well. <laughs> this one, it is strictly platonic friendship and kind of thinking yes. back to the good old days of when you just, like in the summertime, yep. it was just you and your buddies yes, going out and doing stuff. I mean, literally riding your bikes, you know, f playing races and, you know, having fun and stuff. That's what... Coming up with schemes of like, yes. we're going to, you know, th this is not a, ma a spoiler anyway, but they tr they are trying to get something they really want, the two friends in this. And I can think of times in my childhood where me and my friend were like, oh, we got to do this. So we're going to set up our lemonade stand and we're going to make so much money. Right, right. And then we make like five quarters. Really, if we're honest, we just wanted more money for the ice cream truck that came through our neighborhood every single day. Every day? <laughs> every single day. Wow, I'm jealous. We never so, got an ice cream truck. I think it was every, it felt like it was every single day because like. Did you always get ice cream? No. This has nothing to do with anything. But okay. No, but this has to do about like nostalgia. Friendship and Friendship though. and summer friendships and all but that kind of stuff. What's the last movie that we really had a friendship relationship? What I, what I would say is we've had plenty of friendship relationships in movies like Mike and Sully and their friendship, but that's an adult that's friendship. This is not, this is childhood, it's like, kids, like kids, yeah. you know, adolescence, like this is what growing up with your buddies was, mm -hmm. was like and what the, the hijinks you got into trying to stay out of trouble, all that kind of stuff. That's what it was about. It and just felt, it felt new to me, yeah. like that we haven't seen that before. They called so. it a celebration of friendship and it is a hundred percent that. That hit it. Yeah. I'm going to skip one because I know you want to talk about the other one okay. in just a second. The other one that I think, and actually this is the winner for me, is the animation from yes. this. The animation is outstanding yep. on all fronts. A little bit like uh, Wallace and Gromit kind of. It did. You kind of got you know? that Wallace and Gromit feel at the beginning. Right. But then, like, I also got a little bit of soul 
when they yeah. were doing those scenes where the kids were like having a dream, writing, daydream. Yes, and all that stuff. exactly. Yeah. Did you not feel like when they were out in the universe, like you kind of got those vibes of soul when yeah. they were out in the universe there too. So, but it was just absolutely incredible, especially when they, I mean, this isn't a spoiler cause it's in the trailer, but when the kids would go from being a human to a, to a monster, a sea monster. Sea monster. Yeah, yes. I was hoping there was a better name for it, but a sea monster. Like you could just see like the, the scales coming almost. up, and yeah, like it was really cool. But for me, it's not even that because I knew that was coming. It was the landscapes. Okay. So if you've been paying attention to Disney Plus, you know they've got a series called Zenimation, where they take the landscapes or they at least take scenes that have great like picturesque things, um, and remove the sound from it except for the background noise that they included. So, like, if it's the ocean, the, the ocean lapping and stuff, like in yeah. Moana, yeah. or if you're out at the seas or something like in the jungle or something like that, they have so many opportunities with this. It's a seaside yes. town. You could even have, like, the slight hustle and bustle of this little Puerto Rosso town in the background. Mm, that, that was almost a good Italian accent. Puerto Rosso. Every once in a while. <laughs> almost did the little I do thing. love Italian food. I don't know if that qualifies me to have a They did Italian. eat a lot of pasta in they this They did. That's, hey, you know what? Bonus reason number 2.5 is the amount of pasta eating. What's our last <laughs> reason to watch? Um, The cast of characters. I, I was pleasantly shocked. I knew Jim Gaffigan was going to be in it. I remembered that. <laughs> completely forgot that Maya Rudolph was in it. And, you know, the first scene she's in, I'm like, hey, I know that voice. I knew the voice, too. I just couldn't pick it out. I No, I immediately knew SNL, Bridesmaids, you know, the whole gamut. But I thought they did a really great job, and it was just nice hearing some familiar voices. This is a little bit of a bias reason, because you love Jim Gaffigan. Man, I'm obsessed with him. <laughs> I think he's hilarious. He's fine. I mean, he's not He's not my biggest, uh, most favorite He is definitely not everybody's cup of tea, but I just... He's a clean comedian, yeah. you know. It's family friendly usually. Very appropriate. So yes. I just I'm all about that. Well, I thought that also too, when I was watching the trailer trying to figure out the story, I thought that they were gonna have such a minor role in this that it was kinda like a waste yeah. of it. But no, they were heavily involved in this and for a reason we're part of the main cast. Mm -hmm. Um so I thought that they did both did a good job in the role because even though I was aware I recognized the voice of Maya Rudolph and I wasn't able to picture her at the time. It was a voice that didn't like stick out too much. They blended well into their characters. And then obviously the rest of the cast as well. I I would say that it's fair to say that most of the rest of the cast is relatively unknown, but yeah. they all fit their characters well. Man. They portrayed yeah. them well. So I just thought all the way around the casting choice for this movie was outstanding. Absolutely. All right. One reason not to watch. What is it? This or is, not to watch, but you may not like it. How about this that? This is the only thing I could come up with. Yeah. The ending. It's it's a tearjerker. It's a Pixar movie. Of course. <laughs> did you cry? Did you cry? I almost did. I thought about it. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how close were you to having a little tear just come About up? an 8. Really? That close? Yeah. I mean, it'll, it definitely gets you. It's one of those things where, like, it's, you know, you, if you're sitting in a theater especially, kind of mm -hmm. immersed in this story like that, it's probably going to get a little lump in your throat at, kind of at the end there. And we're not saying like it's necessarily sad. But right, it's right. Just, it's the it's feelings. It's heartfelt. Exactly. And I think that's what Pixar does so best is they take these relationships, deconstruct them, and say, hey, what happens if we put this, you know, struggle with yeah. them and how do they get through that and survive? How does that relationship In hold? real life feelings. Like this was a plot line. We're obviously not going to talk about the ending, but... It was something that has happened to many families yeah. and it's something that goes on, you know, so you can, that's why I think it tug at my heartstrings is it's very near and dear to my heart. So it's yeah. just a very, it's, it's definitely not got me like Coco did. Now Coco, Coco did not even get me. Woo, it was dusty in that room. Y'all It is really dusty, uh, but it still tugs at your heartstrings. Pixar does it again and just makes you want to cry sometimes. Yep. So well done, Pixar, if that was your goal. Yes. Rewatchability scale, where would you put this at? You go first. I've gone first on everything else. I'd probably put this at about a four. Um, I wouldn't rush out to see it. Like, I've got to see this now. But simply because of the animation, you know, the it was funny, too. It wasn't like, ha-ha, like, like, I'm just hysterically laughing the entire time. There were some things that were there was enough laugh humor. out loud. There's, there's enough of everything that you want to see in this movie to rewatch it again. I'm giving it a five. I want to immediately go watch it again today. <laughs> I loved well, everything about it. I the personally, I really liked the screen time. It was not too long. They didn't. It's a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. Actually, it was really only an hour and twenty five minutes. I know it felt longer though. But I don't mean that in a bad way. Yeah. I just I'm just saying like it felt but longer. It wasn't. You know, like sometimes I feel like some of these movies they just add junk yeah. to make it a little bit longer. This one was just it's the right amount of time. It was funny. It was engaging. I just 
five out of five. So four for me, five for her. Pretty good marks all the way around. So we recommend that you watch Luca if you haven't already. So if you have, please let us know in the comment section below what you thought about Luca. If you haven't, please share with us what's holding you up or you know, what your thoughts about before going in. Let's try to keep it spoiler free down there in the comment section for those that haven't seen it uh, thus far. Now we do have a different channel called i 2 i Reviews where we cover uh, Disney movies in spoiler territory. Just discuss everything. Anything's fair game there. So we're gonna be breaking that down here as well. We'll put a link for that when it is available in the description but up above in the video as well uh, that's about all we have for you today what else should they do if you haven't already like i said please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notification bell so that you don't miss anything and if you want some more spoiler free movie reviews from us i'll put a playlist up available for you right now in the video also in the description until we assemble again may the force be with you and we'll see you real soon bye guys